of people got there. Okay, fine. I got, okay, so it's so like far. huge it's so long. Okay, I got, I got okay, number one. Like hey, we're going to take a look at it tomorrow. Have that written down. I want it in your notes. Uh, Is that the answer? Yeah, I want the final answer. Oh, well, have it in your notes somewhere. Let's see if we can get it done for tomorrow. But no talking amongst anyone else. So it's like, it's like easy, but it's hard. Yeah, it just takes a while. Yeah, I'm like, it's like 6,692. I had a number that went up to 19,000. Yeah, I had a number that went up to 19,000. Yeah, I had a number that went up to 19,000. Yeah, I had a number that went up to 19,000. Yeah, I had a number that went up to 19,000. Yeah, I had a number that went up to 19,000. Yeah, I had a number that went up to 19,000. Yeah, I had a number
There's only a select few. I think there was like four of these and the three of the top ones. All right. No, four of the top ones. Um, all right, and then multiples on this. This is the list. So it's like 15 times 0, 15 times 1, 15 times 2, and you're writing down all the numbers. You have to go to the first 10, um, same with the 7. Uh, the bottom one, this one's hard because you know you're finding the prime numbers, you're finding sets of multiples of 6. This is kind of like prime number 3 and 4 up here. You've got to make the list for 6. But you can only write your answers using these numbers. Only from that set if you're grabbing select answers. What those are called when you're finding numbers here. We're finding numbers here that are from this list. You're finding subsets. Numbers that are from an original set that fit your situation. You're finding subsets. And then number seven, you're finding all the factors of 30 um, that are from this list right here. Okay? And the best part is you did 30. It's up here, so you should know what the numbers are. If you did correctly. All right. So, uh, let's go to the second question now. So, the visibility test. You have, to, you have to test. I'm going to do the first one for you. I'll do the first problem for you. Okay, so, and these will not be ringing on the board, so you got to know your divisibility test. So, is this number, this 459, is it divisible by 2? No. No. The reason why, so I'm going to put a note here. The reason why, it's not in with an even number, right? 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So that's definitely a no. Is it divisible by 3? Well, now I have to add the numbers up. So 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 9 is 18. Yes, 3 goes into 18. So, is it, is it, can you divide it? Yeah, can you divide it by 3? By 4, are the last two numbers a multiple of 4? No. No, 60 would. Um, 59 is definitely not. 2 didn't go into the board. Um, 5, did it end with a 5 or a 0? No. No. Um, 6, is 2 and 3 both work? No. 9, when you add it up, does it make a multiple of 9? It gives you 18, so you got to start with a multiple of 9. Did it end with a 0? No. And 11, first and last number, do those add to make the middle number or something that's off by 11? Um, that makes what, 13? That is definitely not, that is definitely not 5, and it's not off by 11. So, um, that is a no. So, I have to double check. So, that's how you do that. Yes is a no. Okay? So, again, you got to know your rules for that. you got to know your, your divisibility test. You have to do that for the second problem here. They'll, they'll have their own no's and yeses in that problem. All right. Uh, let's move on to number nine here. All right, number nine. Now, on this one, you are creating numbers that fit certain stipulations. So, you have to create a number that is divisible by 2, it's divisible by 5, and by 10. Well, the easiest number I can think of is the 10. It's definitely divisible by 2. 5 goes into it, and then goes into 5 or 0. And 10 goes into it. 10 divided by 10 is a 1. So that's the easiest number. Other numbers I can think of, the number um, 15 works. Um, Four doesn't go into it. Six doesn't. Or nine doesn't. Or eleven doesn't. So you have to be kind of minimum. You got to be careful that I'm not creating number like forty. Four goes into it. So I got to make sure that four doesn't. So that's your stipulation. Okay. All right. Uh, let's keep going here. Uh, number ten. You're you're doing prime factorization. So this is the method that I noticed a lot of you wanted to do on the first page. You know, on the first page, you guys had to do factor three. You had to, had to do a factor tree like the number 18. Well, the factor tree on the 18, you know, that's a made up number, by the way. So if you're doing a factor tree on the first page, 18 is 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6, 4 doesn't go into it, 5 doesn't go into it. So this is like, that's your factor tree. This is different. When we're doing prime factor trees, we're doing it like this. So let's say you've got the number 1.6. I have 18, so you, I always check 2 first. So does 2 go into 18? Yes, it does. Then I check 2 again. Does 2 go into 9? No, it doesn't. But 3 does. 3 and 3. And then you circle. It's that. It's the uh, prime factorization. Part. So you go, you go by prime numbers. The prime numbers, um, you should know them. 
So that would be the least common multiple between 18 and 70. It's like the first number they would actually run into. Now, if you're not, if you do not like this method of like picking numbers that work, right? Um, you could literally do this. This is the list method. You list 18, and you find all the multiples of 18. So 18 times 0, actually, 18 times 1, 18 times 2, uh, what is 18 times 2? 56, 18 times 3. Um, and you keep going, and then you do the, the multiples of 70, right, if that was a number, right? So 70, 70 times 1, 70 times 2, 70 times 3, um, and you keep going. And look at this. If you're going to do this and make these lists, guess what the first number they'll land on? 630. That is a long way down the road. <laughs> That's why I think doing it by the prime factorization is so much faster. Because you're just looking at all the different prime numbers that you see here and writing the biggest powers of them when you compare them. LCM. Okay, for greatest common factor, it's different. Um, how greatest common factor is number 12 is now instead of doing the list method, you can use factor tree or you can use prime factor. So let's let's take a look at that problem. So if I scroll down here. And I do the exact same problem here for number 12. I'm going to do 18 and 70. And I want the greatest common factor. Well, when I list these all out, what numbers do they both have in common? Let me compare them. Uh, two. Two, that's it. That's the greatest common factor. That's your GCF. It's whatever they have in common. And if, they're, if they have multiple ones in common, you write them all down. And it's the smallest power of them. So they just have the number two. There is no, there is no other number that they both have in common. If you're going to do it by, uh, by factor tree, you break up 70 into those different factors. So 1 and 18, um, 2 and 9, 3 and 6 is the factor for 18. 70's factors are 1 and 70, uh, 2 and 35, um, 5 and 14, um, 7 and 10. I think those are all the factors. And when you, when you list them all off, it looks like the only number that they have in common. That 
that's the process we're going to use. Okay, I'm going to give you some time today. We can just work on this math page. Um, obviously, you use some of the examples I've given you on the board here to help you out. Um, especially with you should be writing those little notes yourself. I'm going to check these after lunch to make sure that you're on the right track, that you're going the right direction. You have the rest of the time today to work on this. You have the test tomorrow on this. So you've got to be ready to go. Okay, any questions? Good. Rest time is yours. Work at your own pace.
Make sure that you're done. Um, I'll, I'll go over those here in a minute because I know we don't have. Uh, I don't have to worry about lunch here, so I'll give you a little bit more time. I'm going to walk around and I will be looking at those. So have it ready to go. So you should be working on it pretty diligently here until you get it done.
right, do you want me to double check? I'm going to walk around my lucky girl sheet just to see if you're kind of right or, right or wrong. Good, and you still got some. 